Hi, this is Ravi from Informatica Global Customer Support and we will be discussing on Power Center LLAB Authentication Users and Group Synchronization. The agenda of the presentation would be various synchronization options and relevant demonstrations like the following preview, the on-demand synchronization option, scheduling the synchronization of the LLAB users and groups and the command line option to synchronize users and groups. We'll start off by looking at a preview of LLAB users and groups that would be synchronized after an LLAB configuration. For the same, we'll uh, start off by logging into the admin console for the demonstration. Security tab is the tab where you can access the LLAB configuration once logged on into the admin console. Clicking on the actions would give you the options wherein you can select LLAB configuration to display the LLAB related settings. Now as known, uh, this would require details like LLAB server name, port and so on for the LLAB connectivity and the security domain with details like user search base and filter and similarly the same for the group to fetch the users and the groups to the uh, pass into server from the LLAB server. Now assuming that this is the first time we are configuring this and we have keyed in uh, the user filter and the group filter instead of simply synchronizing these users and groups directly into the power center we would like to have a preview of what what kind of users and groups uh, would be fetched during the synchronization in case uh, the preview shows the users and groups which are undesirable we can always revisit the filter so that collective measures can be taken even before the synchronization so that way the preview option is pretty hand handy here so let's let's have a look at how to do this preview uh, of the users and the groups that are going to get synchronized the highlighted option is the option that helps us with such a preview once clicked upon we can have a look at the groups and the users that would be synchronized based on the configured LDAP filters now the users and the groups that we just saw are just a preview data essentially this means that we don't have we didn't have them synchronized into the domain by doing a preview the next demonstration will be on the on demand LLAP synchronization option which will actually get the users and groups into the pass into domain We'll go to the LDAP configuration again for this and we see an option called synchronize now on the the LDAP configuration window. This option would actually synchronize the users and groups from the LDAP server to the power center server based on the defined security domains and respective user and group filters clicking on it would start the synchronization and we can now see the users and the groups that are actually fetched into the power center domain from the LDAP server. This would be done whenever the synchronize now option is clicked and hence this is an on-demand synchronization. This requires a user intervention to do the LDAP sync. The next option is 
to have this synchronization schedule so that the user manual intervention is not required. This can be done in the same LLAP configuration window but in the third tab called schedule wherein the LLAP synchronization time can be set so that the sync happens as per the time set. This schedule is a, is a is a per day schedule wherein any time which is set here uh, the LLAP sync would happen at that particular point of time every day. The time that we set here is in the form of 24 hz mm uh, format so hence if I say ok now this schedule is going to run at 6.30 pm every day. The next and the last option for end up synchronization would be through the command line. So essentially this does not require an admin console so that we can do the LLAP sync. A command window or a command line is enough to do the LLAP sync of the users and the groups. So this is the command window which gives us the control of uh, syncing up with the LLAP server. The command essentially is the InfoCMD Sync Security Domains command. This would essentially sync the LLAP users and groups into the power center server from the LLAP server and the syntax is something of this, this format. The domain name followed by the domain name followed by uh, the user credentials to be able to log into the domain followed by the security domain name for which the user synchronization needs to be done once executed the sync would initiate and once it's complete uh, we'll get a message stating that the command has run successfully otherwise we'll get a relevant error uh, with the failure code. We have seen and heard various options through which LDAP synchronization can be done. We would love to hear from you. With the mentioned channels, please feel free to provide your feedback on the same. Thank you.